So welcome back friends. Today I'm going to be sharing marginal construction advice that probably won't help you at all. Hi baby, baby. Oh, it's awfully, my hands are so cold. All right, here we go. Welcome back on how not to do siding. <laughs> so as we saw in the previous video, uh, we, had a, we had some pretty shoddy work going on here uh, in the, the original construction. So what we have here, uh, is a is a log home built uh, oh probably over you know, 114 15 years ago uh, that uh, has been sheeted and sided with cedar siding. So as we see here, we can ha we have kind of a void. What there where they ran out the they ran some backing in here and they ran the siding together and then the sheeting together, uh, uh, plywood and then they they brought these two together and they were just hanging out there in space. It looked terrible. It wasn't the proper way to do it. Lots of ingress for cold air, lots of ingress for bugs and critters, and it's just, just horrible. So my original thought was uh, a trick that my dad taught me here was is we're gonna, we, we've got this cedar. Cedar, of course, is uh, very impervious to, to rot in this part of the country. I think this, in this area, Pacific Northwest, is the hardest place on siding in the world. Maybe, I don't know, maybe some people could argue some sun scorch places, but it's pretty hard on siding. So the idea was to take this two by four, cedar, uh, and I ripped down, ripped the bull noses off to lay it here sideways and to, and to be kind of economical by uh, using it for both corners. The siding running in this way here and the siding running in here rather than having a lap. Well, as soon as I cut it and put it on, that didn't work because there was nothing to nail to. The, the backing for this is way back in here. So what we're gonna have to do is I've got another piece, a two by six of cedar. It's gonna have to be a bigger corner. It has to be this way because there's, that's the only way that I have something to nail to. And even at that, I'm gonna have to toenail into the corner. And then we'll put this piece here and make this corner like that. So first off, we need to rip off these bull noses a two by four comes with a round edge on it. It's not a very nice architectural detail. It looks like a two by four, it looks like a two by six. So by simply running this on the table saw and cutting this off, you can uh, take what's an ordinary framing material or decking material um, and make it look just a little bit fancier. So I'll just use a, we'll use a table saw for this. You can use a skill saw, anything doesn't really matter. But do take a moment to do this as it does look nice. You know, when you're, if you're doing a woodworking project, even if you're doing something simple, like a simple carpenter's bench or a greenhouse bench or something, you don't have to buy fancy wood. You can go to a big box store, pick out some, um, uh, hand select some nice framing material and cut it down to a non-traditional dimension. Like, you know, if it's a two by four, it's three and a half, cut it down to three and eight or something. You know, it just makes it, uh, makes it specialer. <laughs> Now let's take a look at this with the cut. I'll show you the difference right there. Look how much, look how much nicer that is. See that crisp, clean edge on there? Now we can have a, you know, these are pretty much cure. These are not gonna move anywhere. They're under a covered porch. This is a little green. This will move a little bit. So we'll, uh, we have a little crack right there for expansion. Then we'll put a really good product like uh, that we call Volcom uh, caulking in there uh, that will take up that gap. But that looks, how much better does that look? Oh, now that's going to be a lot nicer. I'll take a little shim on the bottom here and shove it up so it's uh, pushed up tight and not touching. Okay, so now we want to, even though the house is crooked, I, I just can't build crooked. So we'll, we'll level this. And I'm going to tack this in place uh, because I need to kind of use this uh, to to figure out where to cut the next piece. Now the cedar is, it, it does have a tendency to split especially on the ends. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pre-drill. The eighth inch is usually a good size to pre-drill uh, for uh, large nails. At kind of an angle there. I'll toenail that in there just to hold it. Because we'll need to take this off again to, to recut this once we know where that's gonna be. So we don't wanna nail it securely, completely securely here. So now that we have that corner established right here, we, we can put our second corner in here and that this is gonna give us a guide for where to cut our siding back because we want that siding to run right in there. Mm -hmm. 
when they put the sheeting on this, it bent way out like that. I was holding the book. <laughs> I, I just, I, I can't imagine, I can't imagine uh, signing off on that when you're doing it, doing something like that and thinking, oh, that's good. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good with that. I'm okay with that. Still going to have uh, all sorts of trouble finishing that up there, but uh, it's, at least we're, uh, we're getting there. So here you can kind of see what we're dealing with here. So this is the north corner board. We're touching here, touching at the bottom. We have this much of a gap right there. That's how bowed in everything is. So we'll have to, because the siding's gonna run in here, we have a little bit of leeway, uh, but uh, we'll wanna push that in. I'll push that in. The nails will drive that in there. That, that's why that's, we're gonna have to put this piece on first and secure it where it's ultimately gonna go and then scribe this one to it. It's, it's gonna, it's just so crooked that there's, uh, I don't know if I can get on that with the siding or do I leave this straight? Here, here's the question, let me show you. I warned you not to come here for any construction advice where I, I, I'm thinking as I'm talking here. Okay, so, so yeah, so here's the problem. So as these laps, these laps go on, do you see the problem? So these are gonna overlap an inch and a half. And if we don't suck that in, there's gonna be a big gap there. So we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do that. And that means that's fine. We'll push that, nail that in, but that's gonna, we'll have to scribe this to fit. It's been a long time since I swung a hammer. So I messed up. I got to talking and not paying attention. Uh, this gap in here is too big and I, I thought, I thought I was gonna pull this over, uh, but it's hitting the, the sheeting, and I, I need to pull this over before I nail it. So uh, I got a couple of nails in there. I'll use the my this the best nail puller ever made here for this. This is gonna chew the wood up a little bit, but I'll have to uh, I'll have to uh, put, fill that before I paint it, um, and then uh, it's just the way it is. It's the only board I have that'll fit there. This slide hammer style nail puller is hundred. It's they're being remanufactured. They're over. Way, I think over 100 years old, the design, and it is the only thing. That's a galvanized nail. Get it out of there. It's gonna, it's gonna mess up the wood there a little bit, but we can, uh, uh, we'll patch that before we paint it. All right, let's go get a clamp. I'll clamp that over and then we'll re-nail it. Let's see if we can't pull that in there and then get a, a nail in it there. That's, that's what we should have done the first time. Hi, love. Would you like some breakfast? Yeah, what's for breakfast? French toast, bacon, eggs, fruit platter. Yeah, I'll have some of that. Orange juice? Yeah, please. This is some really good syrup, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Fancy breakfast today. Turkey bacon? I haven't had that for a while. Well, it's like if you're out in the cold, it's nice to have something hot, isn't it? It is very nice. It's really cold up. It's 32. Is it 32 this morning? Yeah. I don't know if that counts for really cold. I need to wear my gloves, so my hands are getting cold. Do you want some elderberry this morning? Elderberry what? Uh, from the elderberries this year I made an elderberry syrup. Is it for French toast? No, it's for not getting sick. Oh, is it for little shots? The drink. Oh yeah, I'll have one of those. That's the that's the vinegary one. No, that's the cherry drink I made. Um, this is just shots. That the cherry is called the cherry shrub. We made that. I made that from the cherries of our trees, but this is from the elderberries, um, and it's just super high vitamin C. Do you know where the powdered sugar went to after the party? I didn't see it. Do you need it? Let's have a blessing. Dear Father, we thank you for this food. We thank you for your peace on this home and for all of our many blessings. Amen. Amen.
Do you need powdered sugar? No. Okay. Syrup's fine. So people often ask us why we don't have chickens. And it's because we can purchase them from our neighbors and support our local farmers, right? We don't have chickens because Brian has chickens. That's right. So we wouldn't want to put him out of business. <laughs> Plus, there's nobody who wants to do it at this point. <laughs> Everyone says it's really easy, and then when you start asking them about it, they're like, well, you do have to get the coop, and you have to do this and that and this and that, and you're suddenly like, oh, suddenly it doesn't sound cheap or, or easy. You know, chickens are like the rocket mass dough. Ever, those are the two things everyone says. Oh, you're you're not you're wasting wood. You don't have a rocket mass dough heater in your house. You need to get a rocket mass dough heater. Yeah. First thing I ask them is like, well, do you have one? Well, no. <laughs> well, why? <laughs> so good. <laughs> so I want to stand there and feed a heater all day long and did not do anything else. Like, do I want that huge monstrosity in my house? You know. So. How big yeah. are they? Well, they, I mean, they're the little things. No. Well, they can be little, but I mean, if you're going to heat a house, it needs to have a thermal mass. And like I, I just the same way with chickens. You know, people say you need to have chickens. Well, do you have chickens? Well, I used to. Well, how come you don't have them anymore? Well, you know, I mean, they were. You know, it was kind of a pain. It cost more money than you know. <laughs> stuff. So support your local farmer. Yep. Support. Yeah. Of course. Isn't it funny? I wonder how much we're going to end up calling her D. Are you going for a run? Yeah. This morning? Yeah. Thank you, for, thank you for a nice breakfast. Going back to the siding. So here's the finished corner. Nailed into the framing. That looks a lot better. See how the siding runs into, into the corner board versus over here, what we had before. Sitting on top of. Not so nice. Around here, same thing. A little bit proud right there on the edges. I'll take the belt sander and I'll sand that down. We'll caulk that joint in. And now we can run the lap siding in. So I finished uh, all trimming all the other windows. So we've got the, this all done here. So we can run the siding in there to it with the cedar. And now we're ready to start putting the lap on. That's gonna be a whole lot better. So I just started putting the siding up here. And it's going pretty well. Uh, I, I mentioned in the last video, I didn't, didn't know where to find the siding. Actually, I found a, I found a place locally uh, they can order it. How much a foot do you think this stuff is? 10 inch, what, eight inch, eight inch exposed, 10 inch overall cedar siding? I think you said it was $3.65 a foot. Whew, that would add up, wouldn't it? Okay, so we'll reuse what we have. <laughs> Hopefully I have enough. Okay, so that will go in there uh, inch and a half is the lap. And so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm just, since we're going backwards, see when you go, Usually, you should start from the bottom, but since this is a, a kind of a remodel deal, uh, we have to go uh, from the uh, top. And so that's going to expose, nails are gonna be exposed. You can see that they're top nailed in there. It's just, uh, just the way it is. So I pre-drill that so it won't split. I've got my inch and a half marked on there. And then uh, I'll use a level. Make sure that these make sure that these aren't. Oh man, I went too far. Everything is so crooked. That doesn't mean we have to build crooked though. A nail that is. So I'll just. I like everything to be as as nice as you, as it can. So you could take a. Uh, Right there, I'll just split that nail there and put a little mark there. Whoa. You, probably, you probably can't see her because she's in camouflage, but he wanted to see you. Hi, you baby, baby. Oh, it's awfully, my hands are so cold. What's up with the hat? Where'd you get that hat? <laughs> oh, gross. I'm not quite sure. It was in one of those boxes. Gross. Well, babies can be a little gross. So that was your hat? I don't know. I think maybe. Mm. Oh, it's so good to see you, baby. It's so good to see you. Are you having a good day? Can I have a smile? She's been hanging with Jack. Give me a smile. Mm. So serious. Oh, it's cold. You better get her inside. She likes the fresh air. We're going to go for a walk later. Bye, guys.
I guess that's about all the time we have for today's show, but that looks a whole lot better. And uh, the rest of it should go pretty quickly. Uh, I, Brian, uh, I'm going to wait on those longer pieces to have Brian help me because they're, they're so hard to, to manage by myself. He'll be here on Tuesday, and so we'll, we'll finish that up there. It shouldn't be more than a half a day or so and get it all done and painted and caulked in. I think what we're going to do uh, is uh, we're going to go with, uh, since we are putting white windows in, we'll, we're going to do the trims, the corners and around the, the doors and the windows and the eaves and all of that, we're going to do white uh, to kind of brighten things up a little bit, give it that that Bavarian uh, Swiss uh, mountain look, right? All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys on the next video.